What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Steiger, back again with another video on the channel. If I look sweaty in this video, it's because I am. I just got back from a run. Your boy's trying to stay in shape, so that is what we're doing out here. But enough about my workout plans and whatnot. We got some footy stuff to discuss on the channel. I haven't made a video in a couple of days, and this is probably the last one I do for the footies event because this all ends on Wednesday. So if you guys want to try to pack any crazy team of the season cards or anything like that, do any of these craftable, repeatable SBCs, now is your chance to do so. You have until Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I guess I'm not sure what time it is in the UK and stuff, but that's when this whole entire event ends. So make sure you guys get any SBCs you need to complete and all that kind of stuff because price is going to go back up once this event ends. Everything's cheap right now, but once all these cards are out of packs, you guys saw what happened with Team of the Week cards and Team of the Season stuff like that. Once they went out of packs, their prices rose. So make sure you guys get everything you need to get this is pretty much it man this is like the last main week of fifa i think the last weekend league is this weekend so after that man it's pretty much a wrap of fifa 19. i do a lot of fifa 20 content to get into i want to hopefully make a couple videos on that so stay tuned for that later this week but let's get into the footies content and all the updates they put out today the thing we got back is the 81 plus double upgrade 82 plus rated guarantee and the 81 to 86 upgrade so they brought these things back finally i've been asking for these for a long time now because i have basically a full transfer list of duplicates for like three or four weeks now and i can finally put those in these sbcs and pretty much delete my entire club and try to get some team of the season cards that really i don't need any of these lower rated gold cards these aren't really that useful to me anymore i pretty much done all the league sbcs i plan on doing so i might as well try to you know rinse my entire club out try to get some high rated cards and some fun cards to enjoy the last couple weeks of this game so those are great if you guys enjoy doing those we'll have some 81 plus upgrades open on the channel so stay tuned for that we still have the team of the season upgrade, which I thought expired already, but I think this might be a new one, though. It's got, looks like it has about two days on it, so it's got two days of this SVC, and they changed the price of my nose. This thing was an 86-rated squad before, but now it's down to an 84-rated squad. It's a lot more affordable. I think it's the price they should have made it last time, honestly. And uh, that's not bad. So you get a guaranteed uh, top five league player for, from the EPL, Bundesliga, uh, La Liga Santander, Serie A, or League 1. So none of the smart league team of the season cards to worry about it. No kind of, uh, you know, cheap fodder like that you're going to be getting. So unfortunately, I guess for cards like Militao, those cards will still probably be expensive because they're not going to be resupplied. But for the main league team of the season cards, I expect them to stay pretty cheap. And this is probably the day to buy them because with this SBC coming out, a lot of people will be packing duplicates of cards they already have tradable. So this is the time to try to go out and buy those kind of cards. So I think by Wednesday, man, it's going to be too late. We also have the Icon Upgrade, which I thought it's expired today, but they might have refreshed that one as well. We've got two days in the Icon Upgrade, which I believe is the same. Any base mid or prime icon, no prime icon moments, unfortunately, which is a bit of a bummer, because most of the prime, even the prime cards really aren't competitive, and the mid and base cards definitely aren't competitive at this stage in the game. It is an 86 and an 87. Still a little bit too expensive for my liking, but for those of you guys who want to use icons and stuff, and you know, try your luck at that kind of SBC, there is that SBC um, available to you. We also got the Throwback Foot Birthday SBC. Now this is another bundle SBC, kind of like we had before. Going to get a Mega Pack, a Electrum Players Pack, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, Prime Electrum Players Pack, a Prime Gold Players Pack, and I forgot what the group reward is. It doesn't. I already completed this one. It doesn't really say. Um, but I mean, it's, it's pretty mid-level packs. Nothing too crazy in there other than the Prime Gold Players Pack. And it's, it's pretty cheap. Most of the SBCs you should be able to complete using players from your club. The only one I kind of you might struggle with a little bit is the one. Uh, which one is it? This one requires silver players, and you do need a couple Brazilian players. If you guys have any silver Brazilian cards in your club, they're going for like five thousand coins and up right now, so it might be a good time to sell some of those off. But the rest of the cards and stuff, the rest of the SBCs here aren't really going to be too inflated. It's not like the the ones we got the other day that required the UCL rare cards and stuff like that. So those cards were. That was probably the dumbest SBC that FIFA's done recently because they did not supply any UCL cards in the market, yet they required them. So they basically all went extinct and they're impossible to snipe. If you guys didn't have those in your club already, you're pretty much out of luck. And the final SBC we got today is the Lucas Terreira. So they brought back his Team of the Season Moments card and I already completed that as well. But the requirements for that one's an 89 rated card. Pretty decent looking card. I'll show you guys that in a second. I think you need one Arsenal player and an 8 rated squad. So not too difficult to complete that one. And you get a pretty good looking uh, Lucas Terreira card, which I can't wait to try out. I already have Lacazette's team of the season, so I might, I might want to try this card out somewhere in a Premier League squad. He's got the stamina, he's got the interception, his defending stats are pretty much off the charts, minus heading accuracy. The guy's only 5'6", so you don't really expect much there. Medium high work rates, 3 star weak foot, 4 star skills, and 
He looks like a Conte kind of player, man. He's kind of short, but he's going to body people at midfield. He's going to be just all over the place, tasking your opponent's attackers and making sure they can't drink pass together on your side of the pitch. So a really cool card there. Can't wait to try him out. I wish they brought back the uh, Hammer Mkhitaryan card. Really wanted to try that guy out. Unfortunately, it looks like they're not going to put him back out as SBC like they did with the uh, Marcus Alonso SBC. So it's unfortunate, but I guess it is what it is, though. We're going to be opening up our packs now, final part of this video. Got six packs to open up, all from the um, from the bundle SBC. So we're going to start off with some of the worst ones here. The election players pack only has one rare in it. If it's not a walkout, we're going to skip it for the sake of time. It is not, so we're going to skip that one. And I have like 89 dudes on my list right now. I did have to clear out a few of them using the cards in the SBC. So we are going to, we got some silver Brazilian guys. Now these guys might sell, like I said, silver Brazilians right now. Are kind of expensive as you can see this guy is like 3,000 coins they're going down a little bit so you guys want to make sure you sell your Brazilian silver cards as soon as possible because once we complete these SBCs they're not going to need them anymore and the price will go back down to reasonable levels this guy as well there's a 1,200 coin bid on him and this guy I mean from the Ukrainian league nobody really cared about that league like that but the fact that he's selling for that price shows that people really want to do these SBCs and have you know one more chance to pack in the really good cards really good team of the season players so we're going to discard our dupes there. Those guys don't really sell for much of anything. I think I'm just going to try to save my rare dupes if we get those. So I think not rare is going to discard those and keep it moving. 0 for 2 on the walkouts from our, this is a jumbo premium gold pack I believe now. Yeah, nothing in that pack to write home about. Anchor card is not bad. LA Galaxy badge. I guess we'll keep that. Not that I'm ever going to use that. So far those packs aren't that great, but now we got a mega pack to get into. We'll do our Prime Election Players packs. First walkout of the day in our third pack. Is it a blue? Oh, it's going to be an orange. It's a Man of the Match card. I think it's Barkley. It's going to be Ross Barkley. 84 rated card. Once again, another troll walkout. I don't think anything under an 86 should be considered a walkout. These cards, unfortunately, do not sell for anything. So we're going to quick sell that guy for the 15,000 coins, which isn't bad. It's not a bad, um, not a bad return there in terms of how much he sells for. Alright, so far, not bad. Got a first walkout of the day. Not a good walkout, but it's a walkout nonetheless. Let's see if we can keep that moving. There we go. Back-to-back -back walkouts. It's a blue. Team of the season. Please be a good player. Spanish center mid. Sarabia. Alright, Fabian. We'll take Fabian. I actually want to get this card back again. I did enjoy using him as a super sub. His stamina kind of lets him down, but he does have the four-star, four-star combo. And he's a tall player. We got two walkouts. Got a double walkout. Taylor Navas as well is good for SBC, so we'll definitely take that. Yeah, he's left-footed. He's, he's a good super sub card, man. I like him a lot. I think he's kind of outclassed now by that Malikovic Savage SBC, which is very affordable. So I don't think he has much of a use now, but as a collector, I like to kind of collect a lot of the Serie A cards and stuff like that. So I think I'll, I'll keep my club nonetheless. All right, so we're back to not getting walkouts here, which is fine. We just got back-to-back -back one, so one pack there, not a walkout. It's not a huge deal. Got an A3 to Viviano in that one. So we got a Prime Gold Players pack for last. Let's see what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a walkout. Ending this video on the high note. Team of the season, please. Oh, it's not team of the season, it's the troll cards. Uh, it's gonna be Abu Bakr. I don't know, Morega? Alright, I always mix those guys up. So Morega, Abu Bakr. They all play for Ports though, they're all like African. But I don't I don't remember which one's which though. Is this the five-star skiller dude? No, this is the three-star skiller. I think I think Abu Bakr is the five-star skiller guy. I would I mix them up, man. Like I said, these cards will keep them. Actually, no, we can keep the whole entire thing. We got a little bit of space left in the chance for list. So we're gonna be crafting a whole bunch of 81 plus cards now. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys are new, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you guys have not already, and I will see you on the next one.